So lately, I have found myself avoiding the spiritual community. And I'm starting to realize why. Uh, one of the main reasons is I'm noticing a lot of toxic beliefs. One in particular that comes to mind is the belief that they are manifesting their heaven on earth. And it's only positivity and love and rainbows and sunshine and unicorns and butterflies. And, and they're not looking at reality the way that it is. And reality is showing us that everything is collapsing. The old ways are collapsing. And I think that that's really important to understand. When people are saying they are manifesting their heaven on earth, uh, and I ask them, what does that look like for you? majority of these people say that it means they're operating out of full abundance, right? And that the world is responding to their vibration and their vibration is so high and so uh, the universe just keeps giving them everything they want. And most of those things are materialistic things because it involves money. Whether or not you're using your money to buy land or to build retreat centers, it's still revolving around money and materialistic things. That's a materialistic thing to want to build a retreat. I'm not saying it's bad. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not the point of this. What I'm trying to say is that if you are building your heaven on earth using the old ways, the old systems of the matrix, then 97% of the world is still starving. How is that heaven on earth? The planet is still suffering because of the old system. So your heaven on earth, this idea that you are operating out of abundance and you're just spending money left and right because you have so much money coming in. Notice that your heaven on earth is still revolving around money. And money is an illusion. Money is not a real energetic exchange. It's not, it's paper. It's our belief that money holds value is what's giving it energy. But it's not an energetic exchange. When you pay for something, that's not a real energy exchange. What an energy exchange is, is when you gift something to someone and you feel so good about just giving it without any expectation of receiving. And they appreciate your gift and they just thank you from the bottom of their heart. Gratitude. Gratitude is the real energetic exchange here. Not money. Money is paper. And paper is only good for two things. Burning it and writing on it. That's it. That's it. And money isn't good for either of them. Well, it's good for burning it. But writing on it, not so good. Because it's already got a bunch of spells written on it. Okay, it's got literally spells in it. If you look at money under a microscope, you will see all sorts of symbolism in there. So who are we worshiping here? In order to have heaven on earth, we have to collapse the full system, all of it, all of it to the ground. And that includes electricity. Because the way that we are harvesting electricity to power our light bulbs, to power our phones. It's not sustainable and it's destroying our planet. How can you have heaven on earth if you are still partaking in the old ways? How can you still have, he how can you manifest your heaven on earth if you are still participating in this materialistic and consumeristic loop over and over and over again? always rushing to get the new iPhone, always rushing to get the new trend of clothes, always rushing to get in on the trend, right? The trends are out of this world. Like the consumerism has reached an all time high. Have you guys ever Googled landfills in certain countries? Like landfill in Japan, landfill in Taiwan, landfill in Egypt, landfills in America, try that one too. It's a horror show, literally a horror show. And you can just find all of these images on Google and it's absolutely crazy to see how this garbage 
is being disposed of. What are we going to do? We are reaching a point in human existence where people are burnt out, people are tired, very, very tired. Because with inflation, it's forced people to work overtime and hustle and overextend themselves in so many different ways, right? Not even just at your job, but overextending yourself with trying to be there for everything and everybody. And it's just, ah, it is about to burst, you know? And this is bringing it back to this toxic spiritual community um, belief that you can have it all. You can have it all. And let me coach you for $12.99, you know, for the next 90 days. I just need $1,299 of your money so that I can teach you how you can be super abundant and make all of this money yourself. And what they're going to teach you is also how to market yourself, basically. Being your own personal brand, showing up online, um, you know, doing the list of all of the things that you need to do. And you're going to be creating content because that's how you reel in clients. Because everything right now is on your cell phone. So when I'm telling you that there is a collapse coming and it's a lot greater than just an economic collapse, this collapse includes your electricity. Okay, now just take a moment to really imagine that. What does that look like? If the world was just to go black, I mean, sure, you get your sunrise, sunset, whatever, but you have no electricity. You have no way of powering your air fryer, your blender. Um, sure, your stove. My stove runs on gas. Um, and my water heater runs on gas, so I will be okay for a moment. But no refrigerator, okay? And that's just the kitchen items. Let's talk about your phone, especially those people who have an online presence and an online identity that they are very much so attached to because their online identity actually defines their real identity, right? In a sense, they've convinced themselves that it defines them. And so they act a certain type of way and it's because it's all for show, it's all an act. And they are completely disassociated from reality. They're completely out of touch with who they truly are. Imagine what's going to happen to those people when all electricity goes black. There is no electricity to power your phone. Your phone, done. There is no news that, to update you on anything. Um, so it's a lot more than just your light, right? We can live without a light bulb any day. But we have been so dependent, especially on the internet. So dependent. Sure, we could probably even survive in the kitchen without our tools, right? But mentally, People are going to go crazy because you have kids these days that are afraid of being bored. They are afraid of being bored. And they avoid boredom at all means possible. Just take a moment to really imagine that life. It would be definitely crazy. But think about it. That's inevitable. It's absolutely inevitable. I'm not saying it's going to happen this year. Who knows? I'm manifesting it. I'm manifesting it every year since 2020. <laughs> Let's go, the collapse. <sighs> but I'm a special kind of psycho. And it's okay if you don't understand that. So the full collapse involves it all. This is the vision that I've been repeating over and over again. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to happen in this, in this year or in the next seven years or in the next 50 years. I mean, I know it's not going to take 50 years. I just, something about it tells me that it's not going to happen, that we don't have 50 years until that. Um, because something tells me that this is going to happen in my lifetime. Um, and by something, I, I'm assuming that's God, Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit, 
all of the above, the universe, you know, my intuition, whatever you want to call it, call it whatever you want it. Um, but I personally know in my body, not, there's not a single cell that disagrees with this, is that it's going to happen in my lifetime. And that excites the shit out of me. Because in order to manifest heaven on earth, real heaven on earth, and what does that look like? We've really got to redefine these things, you know? Like, we've really got to sit down and think about the, what do I actually mean about? Like, what does this actually mean? Same thing as, like, I ask all the time, like, break down the process of how you see it, of what it means that Jesus died for your sins. You know, break that down for me. What does exactly, does that look like for you? And it really causes people to go deep, right? To really think about this. Well, what do I think about this, right? Like we're people who believe in heaven and hell, like, well, describe to me the heaven. Like, do you ever envision it? Like, what does that look like for you? Eternity, to be with God singing and praising and, and worshiping for eternity. What does that look like? You don't think you're ever gonna get bored? right? Break it down for me. We're not going to get into that topic right now because that's too religious. We're just going to stick to the reality for a moment. Break it down. What does the heaven on earth mean for you? For me, it means we all win. We all win, the planet included. The planet is thriving, thriving. That is heaven on earth for me, where we are united with real communication, face-to-face -face communication, with physical touch. And I'm not talking about romantic. I'm just talking about friends. Friends are not afraid to, to touch, to embrace, to hold, to snuggle, like to, to really just give each other affection without it turning into something perverted or without it turning into anything. It's just real love just pouring out of your heart because you love this person in your life and you just you you appreciate them you want them in your life because you see them for who they are and you don't need anything from them this feeling of real love is so intense it's the greatest thing that is on this planet and yet most people don't experience that because they are too busy with their faces in their phones and they're so disconnected from reality so disconnected from one another it's actually terrifying i'm not all doom and gloom but the next when this when the shift happens right and like or the collapse we should call it because i believe that the collapse is going to cause a shift and what i'm seeing is that the collapse of electricity, right, and all of these other things, which powered, powers down the whole grid, the whole electrical grid down. That's going to allow our psychic abilities to kick in. You know? Follow me here. Because we have been evolving in our awareness. We're not necessarily evolving as the human race, in a very positive kind of way, only in the aspect of we are evolving our awareness. We are gradually becoming more and more aware and more self-aware, right? I'm sure everybody's noticed that. And the matrix has to keep up with that, right? It's like duality. The yin has a yang. It defines each other. The up has a down. The front has a back, right? There's duality in the non-duality. Same thing here, the matrix has to keep balance. As we grow our awareness, the matrix has to work overtime to keep us dense, okay? The matrix is working overtime to keep us dense because it's aware that our awareness is growing. And so how it does that is by using the electrical grid. Radiation, the 5G towers, call me a conspiracy nut, Wait until, wait until. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But this electrical grid is what is working overtime to keep us dense. And it does it in such a simple way. It has us addicted to our phones, has us addicted to technology. And once AI came out, notice that. Notice that. That AI came out just recently, right? 
That's because they were waiting. They were waiting for our awareness to grow to a certain level to be like, wait a second, all right, now is the time to, to bring us back down, to really have us in there. Because people started to kind of lose hope, right, after 2021. People kind of started to lose a little bit of hope. And all of a sudden, you couldn't motivate people anymore because the option of unaliving yourself was available to most people during that time because people kind of lost purpose of all of it. They're like, oh, I lost taste to, to go to work and to slave away nine to five for a job that means nothing to me, but I'm only there to make money. And I'm still making a capped paycheck every two weeks while the while the billionaires just keep getting richer. And people begin to be so aware, right, of what's happening in reality. Sure, most people don't talk about it. They kind of numb themselves with different substances, social media included, or gaming, that's also a substance, a numbing substance. There are people that are aware, they're just numbing it. We're all aware because this energetic blanket that is coming down like a horseman, that's a different reference that I can get into. It's coming down and it's forcing awareness on everybody equally. Now, the numbing substances are not working as well anymore as they did a year ago, okay? Now it's becoming a lot more intense. And now the numbing, the amount of numbing that we were able to get away with last year is no longer working anymore. It's like a drug, right? It's like methamphetamine. You take a little bit and you're feeling amazing, right? I wouldn't know. I've never done it. I know people. And then the more you do it, the more you need in order to reach that same level of high. That's the same thing that is happening with the numbing substances that people are used to using. They're no longer working as well as they were last year. So they're needing to, to do more, something else. And now you see people with like several screens. One screen, they're like scrolling on Facebook. Another screen is playing a movie and their phone or their iPad, they're going through their TikToks. And it's crazy. It's so crazy. This is not multitasking. This is numbing. You are so unaware of reality in your body and you are not in the present moment. You are just wasting away your life at this point. God bless. God bless you. So something's got to give, right? We have reached an all-time high with all of this. Something's got to give. And like I said before, in order to manifest heaven on earth, we got to start fresh, okay? We got to start super fresh, clean slate. And the best way to do that is to just turn off the electricity. And I think that that's exactly what's coming. Who's going to turn it off? I don't know. I don't know. Consciously, I'm manifesting it. You know, I'm manifesting that like I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off across the entire globe and I'm doing this for all of humanity. <laughs> of course, it's going to be fucking hard. Of course. But imagine, imagine once that happens, it will actually force people to unite. It will force people to work together to collaborate and this boredom stage that kids are so afraid of, this is what's going to happen. You're not going to have a phone anymore. So this boredom is going to kickstart your creativity. And all of a sudden we're tapping into free energy sources, not electricity where people are becoming billionaires off of, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Speaking words. So to conclude, to conclude this thought, 
um, I would like to share my hymn that I received in the jungle when I was doing a dieta work in April of last year. So it's almost been a year. Wow, time is flying. It's almost been a year I qu since I quit cannabis. I quit cannabis March 15th of 2023, and we are March 3rd. So I got like less than two weeks before I hit my one year of no cannabis. So I am so proud of myself. Very proud of myself. It has definitely helped me to to embrace the shifts that are coming, the shifts that are happening. I am feeling the shifts so much clearer, and I'm so grateful that I stopped numbing myself with that substance. Um, and don't get me wrong, I think marijuana is a beautiful medicine. It is a beautiful medicine, and it has so much to teach us. I was abusing it, and I had a very unhealthy relationship with the medicine, so it was not serving me. Okay, I was abusing it. And so I was, I'm very grateful that I quit. So anywho, long story longer, I received this hymn in the jungle. And during my dieta, I was completely isolated in the jungle by myself. I had food delivered to me once a week or once a day. And the rest of the time I was completely on my own, just listening to the jungle and really being with myself. And I received this hymn on day two um, because I was, I felt like I was losing my mind. I really did. And this came, hymn came through. There is much wisdom to be found in the silence. There is much power you will find in the stillness. The time has come to get straight with your God. The judge is you and it's always been that way. There is much wisdom to be found in the silence. There is much power you will find in the stillness. The time has come to get straight with your God. The judge is you and it's always been that way. Jesus Christ is not my savior, he's my brother, and he came before us to show the way. The way to love each other and forgive ourselves to come together in peace and harmony. There's nothing left to do but sit in silence. In this stillness you will find your God. Look deep inside yourself to find the peace, the love, the joy, the Trinity. There's nothing left to do but sit in silence. In this stillness you will find your God. Look deep inside yourself to find the peace, the love, the joy, the Trinity. We need each other for this journey. Mirror back the pain and fear and transmuted into love. There's nothing left to do but love and to find internal peace. The shift to oneness is coming now. The earth remains but systems are collapsing. The human race has reached an all-time high. Awareness growing of where we all come from. From love we start and to love come back. The earth remains but systems are collapsing. The human race has reached an all-time high. Awareness growing of where we all come from. From love we start and to love come back. Brother, sister, let us gather and come back to the true oneness Help each other to walk this path And brother, sister, no more fighting Let's forgive one another before time comes to an end And now we know that time is an illusion It is dissipating quickly back to nothing Don't be afraid, the void is where we came from there is no fear allowed where we are going. And now we know that time is an illusion. It is dissipating quickly back to nothing. Don't be afraid, the void is where we came from. There is no fear allowed where we are going. We are energetic beings and to this we're coming back. We are light and have always been that. There is no fear, it's all illusion. Time to let go of the mind and ascend back home to God. There is a message waiting to be found in silence. 
This is the message of the one true God. Get still inside and silence your own mind to hear this message in your heart. There is a message waiting to be found in silence. This is the message of the one true God. Get still inside and silence your own mind to hear this message in your heart. Jesus said the time is near. Now it's been 2,000 years. Wake up, soul. Fam, the shift is here. Don't get caught up in the lie. There's already much distraction. Keep your eyes focused on the truth. Bring awareness to your breath. It's the only way to hear the profound message from your soul thank you